Good evening and welcome to Evening Prayer for Friday the 24th of June 2022. Today we celebrate the birth of John the Baptist and we have two psalms this evening plus a reading from Matthew's Gospel. Let's now worship together. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Reveal among us the light of your presence that we may behold your power and glory. Blessed are you, sovereign God, creator of light and darkness, to you be glory and praise forever. As evening falls, you renew your promise to reveal among us the light of your presence. May your word be a lantern to our feet and a light upon our path, that we may behold your coming among us. Strengthen us in our stumbling weakness and free our tongues to sing your praise. Blessed be God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Blessed be God forever. Our first psalm is Psalm 80. Hear, O Shepherd of Israel, you that led Joseph like a flock, shine forth you that are enthroned upon the cherubim before Ephraim, Benjamin, and Manasseh. Stir up your mighty strength and come to our salvation. Turn us again, O God, show the light of your countenance, and we shall be saved. O Lord God of hosts, how long will you be angry at your people's prayer? You feed them with the bread of tears. You give them abundance of tears to drink. You've made us the derision of our neighbours, and our enemies laugh us to scorn. Turn us again, O God of hosts, show the light of your countenance, and we shall be saved. You brought a vine out of Egypt, you drove out the nations and planted it. You made room about round it, and when it had taken root, it filled the land. The hills were covered with its shadow, and the cedars of God by its boughs. It stretched out its branches to the sea, and its tendrils to the river. Why then have you broken down its wall, so that all who pass by pluck off its grapes? The wild boar out of the wood tears it off and all the insects of the field devour it. Turn again, O God of hosts, look down from heaven, and behold. Cherish this vine which your right hand has planted, and the branch that you have made so strong for yourself. Let those who burnt it with fire, who cut it down, perish at the rebuke of your countenance. Let your hand be upon the man at your right hand, the son of man you made so strong for yourself. And so will we not go back from you. Give us life and we shall call upon your name. Turn us again, O God, of hosts. Show the light of your countenance and we shall be saved. Our second psalm is Psalm 82. God has taken his stand in the council of heaven. In the midst of the gods he gives judgment. How long will you judge unjustly and show such favour to the wicked? We were to judge the weak and the orphan, defend the right of the humble and the needy, rescue the weak and the poor, deliver them from the hand of the wicked. They have no knowledge or wisdom. They walk on still in darkness. All the foundations of the earth are shaken. Therefore I say that though you are gods, and all of your children of the Most High. Nevertheless, you shall die like mortals and fall like one of their princes. Arise, O God, and judge the earth, for it is you that shall take all nations for your possession. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. Our reading is from the Gospel of Matthew, chapter 11, beginning at verse 2. When John heard in prison what the Messiah was doing, he sent word by his disciples and said to him, Are you the one who is to come, or are we to wait for another? Jesus answered them, Go and tell John what you hear and see. The blind receive their sight, the lame walk, the lepers are cleansed, the deaf hear, the dead are raised, and the poor have good news brought to them. And blessed is anyone who takes no offence at me. 
As they went away, Jesus began to speak to the crowds about John. What did you go out into the wilderness to look at? A reed shaken by the wind? What then did you go out to see? Someone dressed in soft robes? Look, those who wear the soft robes are in royal palaces. What then did you go out to see? A prophet? Yes, I tell you, and more than a prophet. This is the one about whom it is written. See, I am sending my messenger ahead of you, who will prepare your way before you. Truly, I tell you, among those born of women, no one has arisen greater than John the Baptist, yet the least in the kingdom of heaven is greater than he. From the days of John the Baptist until now, the kingdom of the heaven has suffered violence, and the violent take it by force. For all the prophets and the law prophesied until John came, and if you are willing to accept it, he is Elijah who is to come. Let anyone with ears listen. But to what will I compare this generation? It is like children sitting in marketplaces, calling to one another. We played the flute for you, and you did not dance. We wailed, and you did not mourn. For John came neither eating nor drinking, and they say, He has come as a demon. The Son of Man came eating and drinking, and they say, Look, a glutton and a drunkard, a friend of tax collectors and sinners. Yet wisdom is vindicated by her deeds. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. My soul is waiting for you, O Lord, and your word is my hope. My soul is waiting for you, O Lord, in your word is my hope. There is forgiveness with you, so that you shall be feared. In your word is my hope. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. My soul is waiting for you, O Lord, in your word is my hope. So we come to our Gospel Canticle. The child born of Elizabeth is more than a prophet, for he will proclaim the way of the Lord. My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God my Saviour. He has looked with favour on his lowly servant. From this day all generations will call me blessed. The Almighty has done great things for me, and holy is his name. He has mercy on those who fear him, from generation to generation. He has shown strength with his arm and has scattered the proud in their conceit, casting down the mighty from their thrones and lifting up the lowly. He has filled the hungry with good things and sent the rich away empty. He has come to the aid of his servant Israel to remember his promise of mercy, the promise made to our ancestors, to Abraham and his children forever. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be for ever. Amen. The child born of Elizabeth is more than a prophet, for he will proclaim the way of the Lord. And so we come to our time of prayer. Let us pray. God of love and compassion, you are always more ready to hear and to help than we are to pray. Help us to know that you are with us now and always, and that you are a very present help in trouble. We pray for all who come to your church with hopes and fears, all who come with special needs, that in you they may find new hope. We pray for all our churches that we may show a welcome to all, and we thank you for all who minister to us. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Father, we pray for our troubled world, for places of oppression, tyranny and violence. We remember all who suffer through war and conflict, thinking especially of the people of Ukraine. Give wisdom of mind and strength of character to those who are called to positions of leadership. Overthrow the purposes and designs of evil men and establish the cause of righteousness in every land that all mankind might be led into the way of peace. 
We ask your blessing on the hungry, the homeless and the destitute and all who are concerned about debt. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We remember before you all who are not at peace with themselves or their neighbours, all who are troubled in body, mind or spirit. We pray for all who feel despised or rejected, all who work, walk in fear and in darkness. We pray for those members of our communities who are ill, especially Irene and Jane, and in a moment of silence, others known to each of us. In your goodness and mercy, grant them health of body, soundness of mind, and peace of heart. And Father, we remember those whose earthly life has ended, and those grieving for loved ones. Enfold them in your love, and let them become aware of you beside them. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Almighty God, by whose providence your servant John the Baptist was wonderfully born, and sent to prepare the way of your Son, our Saviour, by the preaching of repentance, lead us to repent according to his preaching, and after his example, constantly to speak the truth, boldly and to rebuke vice, and patiently to suffer for this truth's sake. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Awaiting his coming in glory, as our Saviour taught us, so we pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours now and forever. Amen. May the Lord, when he comes, find us watching and waiting. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. Thank you for joining with me in worship this evening. I hope you have a good weekend and do catch up with us on Sunday, either in person or by watching the live stream from St. Stephen's at 9.30 on Sunday on the Holy Trinity Redditch YouTube channel. Be blessed and be a blessing. Good night and God bless you.